Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, hello, my name is Dawn. Welcome to my channel. And today, you guys, I am here with another Ray Dunn haul. I know, shocker, but that's what I like to do. So, you saw the thumbnail, you know I hit the jackpot with some birdhouses, but I am going to save that for last. So, stay tuned till the end so you can see how I got those three just gorgeous birdhouses. So I'm going to go ahead and start with mugs. The first mug I'm going to start with is very special. It came from one of my YouTube buddies. I got the hashtag mom life mug and I have been wanting this mug so badly. So my friend Christine, which is crazy in AZ on YouTube, guys I'm going to link her channel in the description box. You guys should definitely check out her channel. She is such a sweetheart and um, she does the same kind of things, Ray Dunn hauls. She's redoing her house and all that good stuff. So definitely go over to her channel and give her some love. Let her know I sent you and subscribe to her channel. But yes. Hashtag mom life and this is my life every day with my little two-year-old toddler but yes I love this my cat is back there meowing but thank you Christine so much you are such a sweetheart you're such a generous person thank you as my cat meows okay next mug I got I got mug life back so you guys know if you watched either my last video or the video before that I traded mug life for the good morning mug but i was able to get mug life back so i did get this through a trade i had the go ask your father mug and then i traded it for mug life so i really wanted mug life back even though the go ask your father is so cute the next mug i got is summer themed so i got the mermaid mug it's the white inside i did not expect to find the blue inside one i will never find that fun fact i actually did have that mug once and i Got rid of it in that infamous purge that I told you guys about a while back. We're not going to discuss that. I got rid of a lot of cute stuff that I regret, but I do have mermaid. I'm going to put this on my coffee bar in the summertime. And speaking of summer, I did get the swim mug. I do have a couple of the blue inside mugs for my summer coffee bar. I have the beach mug. And fun fact about the beach mug is that that was one of the first Ray Dunn mugs that I found on my own in the wild, like when I first started collecting. My cat is going crazy in the background, guys. Sorry if you hear some scampering. And then in that same purge that I got the swim mug, I got a couple Christmas mugs. So I did wind up getting the Tis This Season mug. I thought this was so cute. I've always wanted this mug and I don't know, I just never bought it last year, but now I have it for my Christmas coffee bar this year. And it does have the red inside, so just super cute. And then the other Christmas mug I got was the North Pole mug, and this is white inside. I got that through the same purge, and again, just a super cute addition to my Christmas coffee bar this year, because I do have the Mr. and Mrs. Claus mugs, and then I've got some other ones, but I thought this would go really cute with that. And then the last mug I got in that same purge was an Easter mug. It is just the white peak peak mug with the pink inside. If you guys can see behind me, I still have my Easter coffee bar up. This is the last you will see of it this year because now I have all my spring stuff together. So if you can see back there, I have the pink peep peep in the middle. I'm gonna switch that out next year and put the white one there and then find another spot for the pink one. So that completes my pink inside Easter mugs. I'm so excited about that. The next set of mugs I got were the new cat mugs. They say, I purr you and you had me at meow. Super cute. I love cats. I'm a total cat lady, so I definitely had to have this set. There is another set with dog sayings. I think one of them says, uh, I woof you or something like that. I can't remember, but I wanted the cat ones. Even though I love my doggies, I've always been such a cat person. So I got those. And these I got through my Facebook group again. A lot of this stuff is through my Facebook group. The ladies on there are amazing. They're always hunting and finding things and posting them up for sale very close to retail. So yay for these. So staying on the mug track, I do have some more mugs that I got part of the new spring collection. So I did get the refresh mug with the blue inside and it is LL, but it's like a smaller version of LL. So. I really love this new spring collection, so you guys are going to see that I did get most of this collection because I love it so much. That's what took me so long to decorate for spring. I usually would start like the day after Easter, but 
I wanted to have all of my stuff together. The next one I got is the blue mug and it's got the pink inside. I did wind up getting two of these because I'm going to hang them in the back where I hang the five mugs under my gather sign of my coffee bar. So the blue one is my favorite, of course, because it's pink inside, but also I just love the design on it with the flowers. And then the last mug I got in that collection is the spring mug and it's got the yellow inside. And I did get two of these as well to hang back there. And then it's just got those really pretty yellow flowers on them. So I'm very excited about this collection. I cannot wait to start decorating with this now. And I did wind up getting all of the canisters in that collection. So here is the bloom one. This is the tallest canister in that collection. And then it's just got the, the pretty flowers on there like the mug. I got the refresh canister. So this is the medium size canister in that collection and it's got the yellow flowers on it. And then the short one says spring and it's got the yellow flowers on it. So this is the smallest one in the collection. Those canisters, I didn't find any of those myself. This whole collection, I only found one of the items myself. So basically my done buddy Paige found most of it for me and I'm so grateful for her because she is the best. She finds such great stuff. She's always on the lookout, but every all of all of those canisters and the mug she found for me and then the spring one um, another girl that helps me out in a different city she found this for me so thank you guys for helping me find this because i love this collection i've been wanting it since i saw it on the new release page and then also i have the refresh picture from that collection and it's just so cute this was the main piece that i wanted from that collection just because i think it's just so pretty put some tulips in i'm either gonna put some white ones or some yellow ones probably some yellow ones because there's yellow flowers on the picture but i really like this one a lot and then the one item that i found in this collection myself and by the way after my friends got me all these things i started to see all these things in the store which is fine at least i got my hands on them and they only asked for retail so it's not that big of a deal but i did find the spoon rest and it says bloom and it's got those pretty flowers on it again and I'm just so obsessed with her spoon rests, guys. I don't know what it is about them. I don't know if it's just like the shape of them or just that they're redone. I don't know, but I just really love them a lot. All right, so that's everything in the spring collection that I got. The next thing I got was from one of the ladies in our local group. She asked if anybody wanted these, and I have been wanting these for like, I would say about a month. But I got the breakfast and dessert bowl set. I think it's just so adorable. They're just white inside. Next thing I got was through a trade and I have been really wanting this. I got the baby bake dish. It is just so adorable and I'm actually getting another one of these tomorrow. The girl who found me the um, baby spring canister, she has one of these too. So now I'm gonna have a set of two, which I wanted. And this is just like, this is just so super cute to just like, bake some like mac and cheese in for yourself. I know it's like a big serving, but who doesn't love a big bowl of mac and cheese? Except for my friend Christy, she doesn't like cheese. So staying on the bakeware track, I was able to find some of the black bakeware. I'm so excited. At first I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but when I got the first one, I was like, yeah, I need, I need the collection of this. The first one I got was the black bake loaf pan. And it's just really pretty it's a little dimply and i don't know why i thought for some reason i thought it was going to be glossier and i was like ah, i'm not gonna really like it but it's not really that glossy it's pretty matte as you can see and yeah i just really like it and i'm gonna have fun baking stuff in these for like halloween and fall time it's gonna be super fun so then after I got that one, I was like, I'm obsessed, I need the rest. I just put a post out on my Facebook group and um, a couple of the girls um, posted that they had some of them. So the next one I got was the square bake one. And now I've got like every version of bake, I think. I think there's a bigger version of bake in this. I'm not positive about that. I haven't personally seen it like on my Facebook group. I think I saw it on Macari, but I I really like this one and you guys will see next why I don't need the one bigger than this. So the last piece I got in the bakeware was the black yum 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 and this is just really cute. I know it doesn't say bake, but 
it matches like my whole black bakeware having the different sizes and I just really like it. I don't know, I like the stuff that says yum for some reason, so super cute. I'm not sure what size this is. It doesn't say on the back, but it looks like it's like maybe a like nine by 13 or nine by 11, something like that. And then the smaller one looks like it's like eight by eight. So yes, I got the yum. So the only piece that I'm looking for in the black bakeware now is the black pie dish. Hopefully I can hunt that down because I'd really like to add that to the whole collection. And tomorrow, I wish I had it with me now, but I am getting a baby um, black canister that says keep. I'm so excited about that because I'm gonna use it for Halloween. I'm gonna like find a decal and put it on the back, but I'm so excited about that because the new black canisters look like they're really pretty. So hopefully I can find some more, but I'm really excited to be getting that one tomorrow. And then speaking of pie dishes, I did get the pumpkin pie dish. I got this through a purge on my Facebook group and I've been really wanting this dish just because, you know, I'm obsessed with pumpkin in fall, but come on, this is me in a pie dish. It's just so cute. So I will definitely be baking a pumpkin pie in this come fall time. Speaking of fall, I did wind up getting some more melamine bowls in the um, Halloween version. So now I have both sets. I don't know if I'm gonna keep both. I might because I like Halloween that much, so we'll see though. But the big one says trick or treat and it is purple inside. The medium one says hocus pocus and it is green inside. It's that beautiful Halloween green. And then the small one says boo and it is orange inside. The next thing I got in a purge was the baby tea canister. It's awesome because I got this for retail, but it completes my baby canisters. So I have baby yum, I have baby eat, I have baby sugar, now I have baby tea, and then I'll have the baby keep coming. So I've got all the babies. They're just so adorable. I, you know which babies I don't have? I don't have like the, I think cinnamon's a baby, and then there's jelly beans, but I have all the standard babies. So just super adorable. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet because I do have big tea, but I think I'm going to incorporate this in my spring coffee bar somehow. We'll see how that comes along because I have some ideas. And I will be filming a video on that maybe next week or the week after. It depends on how fast I get the decorating done because I decorate and then I change it a couple times until I'm satisfied. So be on the lookout for that video, guys. It will be coming shortly after this video. The next thing I got was the sprinkle and spice it up bowls. And if you guys saw my video where I actually found these in the store a while back, I had traded them, but I did wind up buying a set through my Facebook group. And now I have them. At first I was like, I don't need these, but now I'm like, I need them because I had a decor idea that I'll show you guys eventually for my kitchen. But I also bought these little lids off of Macari and they fit them perfectly. So super cute little set with the lids and the little bowls are just really adorable in my opinion. I don't know if I showed you guys this in a haul before. I'm sorry if I did, but I cannot remember and I wanted to make sure I showed them because they're just super adorable. I did wind up getting the salt and pepper sellers and I got these through a sale on my Facebook group. Like I said, that's where I got most of my stuff because the stores around here have been pretty dry if you don't go to openings. So. I do like the white, I think they're just cute. And then guys, I did talk about this in my last video, but I did wind up actually buying a set of cheese knives again. <laughs> but they're new because one of them says yum, if you see. So they say, let me take the yum out. So it says slice, serve, spread, and yum. I think in the other set, one of them said sliver. I may be wrong on that, but I really like this set better because of the yum. Like I said, I'm obsessed with the things that say yum, so I did wind up getting them to put into my little pour thing, creamer thing, whatever they are. <laughs> I think it's cute though, so I did wind up getting them, even though I said I didn't like them at first. All right, you guys, now the moment you've been waiting for this whole video, the birdhouses. So, I did wind up getting three birdhouses in the span of like two weeks. All this stuff is in the span of like two, two and a half weeks, I believe. So I did not go to opening. 
I did not find any of these in the store. I just wanna let you know that flat out. I have been going to the stores looking for birdhouses. I can't go to openings, so I've been seeing on Facebook that people have been finding them like at random times, so I was going hoping that I would find them, didn't. So, my first one, the one I've been lusting after, Tweet with the pink ribbon. This is my favorite. So I did wind up caving and I bought it off Macari. But I wound up selling a few of my things to make up for the price on Macari. I just love this one though. I wanted it for my spring decor so I wound up splurging and getting it. But like I said, I sold stuff to compensate for it. So this is my favorite one. But Tweet is just so pretty. I love the color of the bow. It's just so dimply too. Look guys. Look at all those dimples. So there's Tweet. If you guys are unsure if you want it, you want it, trust me. The next birdhouse I got is the Home Birdhouse. Now this is an older version of it, but my, my Dun Buddy Paige sold it to me at almost retail, which was so sweet of her. She knew how much I wanted it. We had a bunch of raffles in our group last weekend. They allowed them in our group for Easter. And it was ridiculous, you guys. I wasted too much money on raffles trying to win birdhouses. But I lucked out. She sold me this one. And I did have this birdhouse before, and I sold it in that infamous purge. But she put the pink ribbon on it, and I just think it's so pretty. So this was, like, my second top one that I wanted. And then finally, I did get the fly birdhouse. I got this through a trade. So if you guys know, I had the um, Tiki Hut Nest one and I was holding on to it. I wasn't quite sure if I loved it. I wound up getting the Tiki Nest by trading the pear shaped, um, which one was it, Rest, that Paige had got us when she went to an opening once. So I wound up getting the Tiki Hut and then I was like, eh, I don't really like the Tiki Hut. Okay, so my camera cut off. I don't know where that story left off, but long story short, I had the Tiki Hut birdhouse and I wasn't in love with it. I started falling in love with the square ones again once I got tweed. I traded my Tiki Hut nest for fly and it's just so cute. It's got like the mint green ribbon on it and it's nice and dimply. And then on the back it's got a little bird's nest with eggs in it. So yes guys, I'm super excited. The only other birdhouse I want is Welcome. I know I probably won't find it. I don't think I would splurge to buy that one because I like it a lot, but then again, I don't need to have it. Tweet was one that I really wanted to have, so I splurged on that. But the welcome one, we'll see. If, if somebody in my group finds one and I can trade, or if somebody finds one and is willing to sell me one, we'll see. But that's the only one I'm looking for. Otherwise, I'm really happy. I'm really excited to have not just one, but three birdhouses. So, you guys, if you have not found any birdhouses, I really hope you do. I know it's a little discouraging. I was discouraged for a while, but now I have some, so keep hope alive. Like I said, get on your local Facebook groups and try to see about, you know, like purges and trades and things like that. And I had some questions in my last video about how to find the groups. So on Facebook, go up to like the search bar on Facebook and type in like, for example, the city you live in, like if you live in like, I don't know, San Francisco. Type in Ray Dunn San Francisco or Ray Dunn buy, sell, trade or Ray Dunn B slash S slash T San Francisco. And some groups should pop up if you want to be like, you know, group specific to your area. Also, there are national groups now. I don't know, I'm, I'm a part of a couple of them and I have done a couple trades on them but it's kind of stressful because you don't know if you can actually, you know, trust the people. So you have to be very careful with those. So I would say join those at your own risk and make sure that, you know, they provide plenty of pictures with their name and the date with the item and that you do like a PayPal backed um, transaction. So pay each other through PayPal for the amounts that you owe, like the, you know, value of the, of the item and then the shipping and always do goods and services when doing that because if you do goods and services your transaction is backed i believe but if you do friends and family you have no protection 
and also make sure that you know you and the other person take specific pictures of the packing process also make sure that you know you take a picture of the label they take a picture of the label and try to schedule going to the post office on the same day so and I always provide tracking on both sides that's how I did my first two trades through a national group that was a long time ago when I first started Ray Dunn and I didn't know about the local groups so they went fine but just make sure you protect yourself but I would recommend the local group so that way you can you know meet up with the people do porch pickups whatever etc so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if I was rambling at the end. I like to give little bits and pieces of advice and help if I can, so that way you can grow your collection and you know get the pieces that you want. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing if you liked my video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.